Hello and welcome to Backyard Food Guide. The topic today is lemon balm, an herb that grows wild in our garden. And while some people consider it to be invasive, I actually quite welcome having it all over our yard, popping up in surprising places, and that lemony smell being quite nice. So of course, if you're worried about the invasive aspects of it, it might be a good idea to grow it in pots. But for me, I'm very happy to see it come back in the spring and to be able to harvest from it for the entire summer. So the lemon balm is part of the mint family. And as you can see in this photo, there is plenty of it in our yard. What's really cool is that there are a lot of health benefits attributed to the lemon balm plant. So what I'd like to do today is to show some of the evidence behind it. And while some of these studies indicate that more studies are needed, definitely in an informal way, it can help with some of the ailments that I'm going to talk about. And then also at the end of the video, I'm going to demonstrate a tea that you can make using lemon balm and lavender. So the lemon balm is considered to have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. It has this amazing smell and certainly in our yard, I think it actually helps to ward off mosquitoes. So again, that's not something that is proven, but certainly anecdotally we can, it's clear that there are fewer mosquitoes in our yard. One of the key things that lemon balm can help with in terms of ailments would be that it can relieve stress and reduce anxiety. So in this 2004 study, it showed that participants felt a great deal more calm after taking lemon balm and their mood was considerably better. A very interesting aspect was also that their cognitive processing in terms of math questions, for example, they saw increased speed with cognitive processing after taking lemon balm. Some of these same conclusions were also found in this 2014 study published in Nutrients. So there was also a mood enhancement to taking lemon balm and cognitive performance. And in this study, they were very specific that the participants took lemon balm with food. Lemon balm can also aid in digestion. In this 2010 study, participants took a teaspoon of powdered lemon balm and in a dessert, and it really helped in terms of their digestive issues. Lemon balm can also help with nausea. In this 2005 study, it showed useful aspects of using lemon balm to help with nausea. And while the study indicated that more studies are needed in order to prove this, it certainly was a very promising part of using lemon balm for nausea. One thing that I'm definitely going to try is using lemon balm for insomnia or sleep disorders. I tend to wake up very, very early and be a little bit tired during the middle of the day and need a nap. So it would be nice if I could sleep a little bit later in the morning and apparently lemon balm can help with that. So in this 2006 study published in Phytomedicine, it showed that lemon balm helped a great deal in sleep disorders. Other things shown in studies include lemon balms being used to treat cold sores. So in this 1999 study, a balm was created using lemon balm and Again, the study participants showed improvement in terms of the severity of the cold sores and the time it took to heal. Also in this 2015 study, lemon balm helped reduce the symptoms of menstrual cramps. So as you can see, there are a lot of potent aspects about lemon balm. 
And I think the flip side of that is that you want to be a little bit careful taking lemon balm, especially in terms of dosage. So one of the things that I would recommend is to ingest it with food or in tea form, for example. There are, of course, side effects and risks. And certainly if you are pregnant or taking other kinds of medications, it might be a good idea to check with your doctor first before taking lemon balm. But otherwise it is a great herb and it smells wonderful in the garden, good to have around. So what I'd like to do is to recommend that you try this lemon balm and lavender tea. I have both of these growing in our garden and it just requires boiling four cups of water using the leaves of the lemon balm. So what I have here in this picture is about one cup of leaves and I used four sprigs of lavender. So both the leaves and the flowers of the fresh lavender and two tablespoons of honey. So I boiled the water, the lemon balm and the lavender leaves for about five or 10 minutes and then I drained out the tea and added two tablespoons of honey. So it is a mild and very nice tasting tea, quite refreshing. And if you make it as iced tea, one idea would be to garnish it with a lemon and to perhaps even save some of the lavender to put into ice cubes, especially if you're serving this to guests. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.